Hello, so we have a couple of things to talk about today. So they just launched uh, some new spring skins, right? So Daredevil, Arachne, and Ziri all get uh, new skins. Arachne finally gets a magic penetration skin, something she has needed for a long time because she doesn't have natural magic penetration. Uh, so this is good. Uh, Daredevil gets health. I don't know if that's going to help her. Ziri gets more health. She already has the best health in the game, but she gets more, but... She has that sheltering sense ability, so she's, like I said, Ziri's just, like, is one of the worst heroes in the game, so don't invest in Ziri. Like, don't, like, Arachne, they actually made a bunch of changes to Arachne, uh, which we will get into. Right, so Arachne, I actually like Arachne. She, for a long time, was my third strongest hero, right? Uh, in the pre-Sebastian era, she was actually pretty good because she has all these three uh, stun abilities. Right, so Demolition Drone used to be her ultimate right and then the hyper jump was an ability called teleport that used to be down here so they switched these abilities right so this stuns minefield this just does pure damage uh they got rid of her neurotoxin ability for this one right so i don't know if this is better than neurotoxin or not i guess it kind of is like a coup de gras because if a uh, it does extra pure damage if an uh, enemy is below 20 percent health so right whereas the neurotoxin just kind of gave her Race like so, because every time she touched an enemy, she would uh, just have like a pure damage for 10 seconds. Uh, which, you know, like I said, and she has vampirism, so it's kind of like gave her regen. So I don't know if this is like, so I'm kind of like, you know, I'm kind of thinking because she's going to miss the neurotoxin. Um, right, she still has two stun abilities. Like, this is a five second stun. So if you have a maxed out Mara, I mean, that's a 15 second stun if you can land that stun. I mean, that's like, said, Sebastian pretty much makes stuns mostly irrelevant, but I said, but 95% magic attack, that's high. Right, it's like 200% magic attack. She doesn't get a lot of magic attack. She is a warrior, so she does have agility's main state. Like I said, she's warrior control. Right, Jilly's Rain Street, but this like that. So she has really good armor and health, like maxed out. Arachne has like probably like the best armor of any like non tank hero in the game, right? She like said, she's very like said, she's very tanky and she has that vampirism. Uh, but you know, when the, another thing they changed is that they did change her artifact weapon, right? She used to add magic attack, now it's a magic penetration, right? This makes her, I think, the fifth magic penetration hero. So this is. Right, magic penetration is a very good stat. Um, this, like I said, this is relevant. This is, like I said, I mean, Arachne is one of those heroes I've always had a soft spot for. I do have, I've actually have a lot of skin work in her. Right, I have her mag mechanical skin maxed out. Right, so, because she was like that for a long time when I was leveling up. She was, right, like I said, one of my main heroes. Uh, like I said, because she used to be really, she used to be a lot better in like a pre-Sebastian era. I mean, early in Sebastian, right, she, like I said, her neurotoxin ability actually did a lot to strip Sebastian's songs, but then they made that change to pure damage, so Sebastian can no longer block pure damage anymore, which made Arachne pretty much completely irrelevant. So it's nice to see her get some love. Uh, that new uh, spring skin, that one looks amazing. That is her best skin. I mean, I'd still love to see, like, the classic, you know, not this, but the classic, like, if you ever seen videos, she used to actually have spider legs instead of this jetpack whatever thing she has. She used to have, like, actual spider legs, which is why she called Arachne. I'd always love to kind of see that return, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, in addition to that, there is, right, you can buy soul stones of a hero for, like, $10. You can choose, like, 80 soul stones of any of these heroes. And then you get, like, emeralds, energy, potions, etc. You know, this is not a bad package if you're uh, looking for soul stones. Uh, this, uh, this is a one-time purchase and lasts for three days. And then we have the special events. Right, so log in. You can do it four times. Never look back. Just spend energy. Reach VIP level. Open chest in Elland. Right, this lets you get soul, uh, soul, souls for Ziri, Arachne, and Daredevil. Right, it's like... Like I said, these are spend emeralds and buy emerald quests. There, so, like, you actually get a bonus if you buy some emeralds. Uh, this is just completing quests. So, pretty basic stuff. Um, but yeah, you can get like some soul stones if you're looking for some like arachne soul stones or 
Daredevil. But yeah, no, I think Arachne, right, is going to be a lot just like said, armor. Magic Penetration is a good ability. Right, and she's like a mage hero that you can actually use agility stones on. Right, I mean, outside of Sebastian, a lot of mage teams don't have a lot of its use for these uh, agility stones. And Sebastian, right, he only has two skins, so eventually, right, so, so Arachne is a good place to use some of these agility skin stones. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video informative. Thank you for watching.